Hi. Let's see. Hello. Today I'll be doing a video on my mental health journey because I feel like someone out there will be like comforted by the fact that like I don't know, like I don't have my life together <laughs> and they're not alone in this process. So there's my dog in the background being crazy. So I thought I'd just start talking about my mental health journey. So first, what do I have? So I have depression, clinical depression, anxiety, OCD, and ADHD. And for a while now, I thought I was, sorry, I thought I was bipolar just due to my ups and downs, but um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not up enough to be considered bipolar. How long have I been on this journey? So I have done therapy for a very long time. Um, I've done it since my sophomore year of college and I've done it on and off um, and so that's about sophomore, junior, senior, super senior, postgrad one, postgrad two, about six years of doing therapy and therapy is great like I truly think it helps so much and it helps you think uh, it helps you process your emotions and it gives you a safe space to just talk to someone about what you're going through but um, therapy can also only do so much um, if you have things that you're diagnosed with or things that you think you need to be diagnosed with because um, it's like a friend of mine who's trying to become a psychiatrist told me that just like how if you're sick you get prescribed medication to feel better it's the same thing with um, any type of mental illness if you have a mental illness you get prescribed medication to help you feel better it's the same thing in my eyes and yeah made you want to get medicated so the main reason why I wanted to get medicated is because I was not improving so no matter what I do um, nothing would help me and nothing would help me go up so for example um, I used to run a lot and I can't run as much anymore because my antidepressants just give me really bad fatigue and so um, I just cannot keep up with the pace that I used to, so I have to do other exercises like yoga. So um, in December, I started dating someone and I realized that when, when you're dating someone, you like are always talking to someone about what you're going through and you're always having to share life with someone whereas before I was dating I could be by myself all the time and there would be no problem in that um, so yeah like once I started dating someone I realized that my problems are really affecting this person and really hurting this person like if I'm sad like the person I'm dating is also going to be sad like they're not going to be joyful that I'm sad and so I felt like I was bringing other people down as well and that's when I finally realized that like my actions and what I say and what I do can hurt people and I didn't want that anymore and that is what ultimately made me want to be medicated is so that I don't hurt those around me and I don't hurt myself. What's it like being medicated? So if I'm honest, the first month it really sucks. It feels like you get nauseous every side effect. You can get any side effect that is already listed. You can get nauseous, you can get dizzy, you can gain weight, you can lose weight, you can get headaches, you can get like just dizziness, all these things, blurry vision, you can, any of the side effects can range from stuff like that. But after the initial month, um, usually, not in all cases, those side effects do go away and um, you start to feel not as bad so for example i also always used to be either happy or sad but like my happy was like up here and then my sad was like 
very low bottom floor touching the floor like it was just like constant up and down but mainly it was just like a down and um, in the downs which would last forever um, I would feel like there's no way out and there's no way of getting better and so I would just stay sad remain depressed and remain anxious and remain just like stuck in my head whereas now with medication I feel like I'm more consistently um, just feeling the same thing I think a lot more logically and my lows are not as low so it's truly like a ha happy pill it makes you feel happier um, and it makes you not as paranoid if you have OCD because the part of OCD that I have is I get intrusive thoughts that are super negative and I get so stuck on thinking negatively about something that it ends up making me sad and anxious so um, the what I take helps me stop there and it really really does um, help me just kind of have a balanced way of thinking and a balanced emotions as well so yeah I currently take um, Prozac and I take Eriprazole. Eriprazole is a mood stabilizer that I take at nighttime and Prozac is a antidepressant that helps with anxiety and OCD that I take in the morning. Um, Prozac does is an antidepressant that kind of gets you going so it is like gives you a boost of energy rather than kind of keeps you calm. Um, I did try an antidepressant like Lexapro but like I felt like I was very unmotivated all the time and I didn't like that and so I decided to stick with Prozac. How to know if you need to be medicated. I am not a medical professional. I don't know how to tell you if you need to be medicated but what made me realize that I need to be medicated was the fact that I wasn't getting better. No matter what you did, therapy, exercise, eating healthy, nothing would make me feel better and so um, I decided to meet with a psychiatrist due to that. Is it scary at first? Yes, it is very scary at first and um, I will not lie that it is such a scary process to be medicated because you know like you want to control yourself. You know you want to be able to be the author of your life and you want to be able to steer your own um, wheel. But, you know, like if you have a mental illness, like you yourself at your most natural state is not the most reliable and dependable person to steer that wheel. And so you're taking medication to help you be able to see clearly so you're able to drive in the front seat. So the medication isn't even in the passenger seat. It's in the very back seat. It just helps you. Um, be able to drive better and see better and just think better as well so it is scary because like you want to have control and you think that it will just completely make you crazy but no like that's not the case at all um, you don't need to be as scared as you think because you know like tons of doctors have made this and prescribed this and there's tons of people in the world taking it and you're not alone in it as well. Why do people die while taking antidepressants? So I am actually not entirely sure why people die while taking antidepressants when it should be helpful but I will say that I did have an occurrence when I was on my first few weeks where I was trying, my body was getting used to just the ups and downs and ups and downs and um, like your body is trying to get used to you like being on an antidepressant and so like your chemical balance in your head is fluctuating and it just feels like one day you're happy and the next day you're angry and it's very inconsistent but at the same time um, you know like you're body is going to adjust well and it is going to eventually get better but during that trial period it does suck and it does feel like you're a crazy person and a maniac and things like that so I think in that time I really contemplated life or death um, and another occurrence where I contemplated life or death would be um, just 
overall as a girl when you're on your period um, you know your hormones are changing and then the chemical balance in your head is changing and both things are changing so fast you can have a spike low and be super emotional and depressed and during that time was also a time where I um, also was contemplating life and death and the third time and the last time is when I would forget and miss doses so um, I would be fine and then I would just completely go to bed without taking my mood stabilizer or um, the next day I will just completely forgot to take my antidepressant and so I would have a steep low um, my emotions would just go downhill and that is also possibly a reason why people commit suicide even though they're taking antidepressants I'm not entirely sure but those are the three times where I felt like I um, was getting very suicidal for those of you that are thinking about taking antidepressants or being medicated for your mental illness I really recommend it um, it's really not as scary as people think and I'm creating this video so someone out there will go take that step to being medicated if they need it and not be so scared of that process and as an Asian American I know it's like even less common for us to talk about it because like I don't know like we just don't want to talk about our mental illnesses but you know like we gotta break the stereotype and the stigma somehow so yeah i hope this video was helpful for someone um yeah i'll see you next time bye